Hey everybody, Steve here. I've, been, I've had my eye on this one for a while now, so I want to recreate Mom's Lime Jello from the 1950s. And it's, it's lime jello with some cream cheese. Super easy to make. That's one reason that I wanted to, to recreate it, because it's easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, going over to a, a friend's uh, this evening. Going to visit a little bit from, from work. And uh, so I don't want to go empty handed, so I'm going to take a little something. So this is uh, this is one of Mom's most uh, popular videos, and uh, with good reason. So I love Jello. Growing up as a kid, I always I, I just that was one of those those ones that that in one of these days when I'm an adult, I'm going to have a continuous supply of Jello <laughs> the refrigerator. And of course, you know you get older and you're just like, you know. Jello just needs a little something extra. So, you know, you sometimes, a lot of times you mix fruit in it or whatever. So adding cream cheese, you had me at cream cheese. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you how easy this is, and uh, we'll get at it. Stand by one. Okay, so I wanna start off with a bowl here, a mixing bowl. And first thing I'm gonna do is add my, my Jello to it. Now, I'm over here in the UAE working and this is what we, we get in the grocery store. So can you read that? No, that's, so it, it's lime jello. <laughs> now the difference is, look at this. It's made with beef gelatin. It's uh, halal, which means it's uh, um, Muslim people can, can eat it. Because they don't, uh, a lot of the gelatin is made uh, with, uh, with pig, uh, with, uh, from, from pork, from pork gelatin. So this is, uh, this is made with, uh, with beef. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go with lime. You can go with uh, strawberry or orange or anything like that if you can find orange. I don't know that I've ever, well, I have seen orange jello. I'll take that back. She made this with lime. I'm gonna make it with lime. Give it a crack here. So, and the jello goes, the mix. And you want some uh, boiling water. So just make the jello according to the package. Uh, this particular package is a cup of boiling water. So I've just got through boiling this. I'm gonna add a cup of boiling water. So you add the, the boiling water first because what we wanna do is dissolve the, the jello and just use a, whi a whisk. Now, my kids always give me a hard time when I say words that begin with WH and I, I say it like 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 an H sound like who like 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 whisk or whiskey or uh, what I don't say what but uh, they always laugh they just they just uh, they get a big kick out of it the way I say that so yeah uh, I'm gonna just use this whisk to whisk this around in here to mix this jello up in here that's what I want to do you want it all dissolved okay a couple of minutes now I'm gonna try a little variation mom had mentioned adding just a touch of vanilla it looks like it's all dissolved. I don't want to see any in there. Yeah, if you if you have any left in there, it'll 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 leave that leathery kind of shield on the bottom of it. So she she mentioned using adding just a touch of vanilla. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna go with like an a, 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 just a touch, just an eighth of a teaspoon. This is a quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna have to eyeball this about half this an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla, just a touch. Give that a little bit of a... Now she mentioned this with the cream cheese and everything. It's more of a, tastes like a sherbet, so. All right, so the lime jello, I'm gonna let me back this camera off so you can see. So lime jello's going in the, in the now, I don't have a Vitamix here. And she said, be careful of mixers. So I'm going to use a, a blender. So Vitamix or a blender. Uh, blender is what I got. So, and the 
Jello goes. I'll make sure I got all that goodness out of there. Very sugary. Okay, and it goes. Now to that, I'm gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese that's been uh, brought to room temperature. So, and it goes. All right. And the top goes on. I'll turn this on and we're looking to get this kind of mixed. That's all mixed in, that's all liquidy now. Look at that. Very nice. And then I'm gonna add, per the, per the directions, I'm gonna add a cup of cold water. Now, mom used ice water because she wanted it set quick. I've got a lot more time. I don't have to go over it till later tonight. So, we're gonna go uh, hang out, talk about the week. Add another cup of water, okay? That's it. Now, she, uh, I'm gonna use this little Pyrex container here, and I hope that it'll be thick enough that it won't be like paper thin, you know? I think this'll be all right. You know what? I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just uh, add this back to this bowl, this mixing bowl here. Now, one thing she mentioned was uh, just lightly, just very lightly, let me just clean this out. Another audible here on the fly. She mentioned just lightly greasing this. So I've just got uh, this Pam I'm trying to use up here. I normally don't use Pam, but I bought it for my air fryer, which I was quickly warned by all of you great viewers to not use oil on your nonstick air fryer, which I never have. So anyway, I'm gonna just keep just, just a real light brush with this so it, it'll come out easier. I'll try that, see how that works. And then I'm gonna just pour this in here and into the refrigerator, it'll go. All right, so, oh, can you see that? Let me turn this back down here so you can see it going in. <clears throat> Pour this in. Now I realize it might take a little longer to set because it's in a bowl, but like I said, I got all afternoon, so I got a good six hours before I'm heading out. So in the fridge it goes, and we'll check back later and try and see how it is. So stand by one. All right, so I've had this in the refrigerator now for probably about six hours, and it looks like it's set up pretty good. Now, one thing I've noticed, I don't know, see, it looks like the cream cheese kind of rose to the top, kind of separated a little bit. So I'm wondering if this deep bowl like this kind of drove it to do that. If I'd have put it in that shallower one, you know, it would have been a little bit more uniform, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's gonna taste fine. I hope it does. Let me give it a spoon myself out some here. See the the jello, there's jello in there, and this is a little bit more fluffy with the cream cheese up here. So I'm gonna try to get some of the some of the jello down on the bottom too. Alright. Flip this around and I'll try it. Alright, this is my dessert. I had dinner already. That's a beef stroganoff. I posted that video the other the other night or other day. But uh, this is my dessert. And I plan to take this to uh, over to my friend's house today, so I'm kind of excited to try this. Let's try this here. Here we go, first bite. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, the mom was right. This tastes just like lime sherbet, which I love. Yes, I do. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that's tasty. Mm. 
Yeah, I see now why everybody watch, loves this video. Super simple, super easy, and super tasty. Mm. Mm. I hope you enjoy it. I know I'm going to enjoy eating it. So, this is the Colonel signing off, saying over and out.